On that note, let's go and check in <laughs> with Mike with details on mm -hmm. that and also the next show that we could see this mm -hmm. month, Mike. All right, Sharon, yeah, that's Super Moon. It's the second of three consecutive. What makes this one special is, well, it's out there tonight. That's the first thing. It is already up and moving. Uh, it came up at about 427. Now it's going to set at about 703. If you didn't get the sunrise, which is when the atmospheric optics make it look the largest and the brightest, it's going to come up again tomorrow at about 539 p.m. So what makes this one so special? Check this out. We're looking at it, the perigee, being the closest to the Earth, which means it's going to be the biggest. It's going to be the brightest of all of them coming out. And it's the second of four super moons during the calendar year here. So let's, all right, they're not going to work. Fine, uh -oh. we'll just keep pressing the button here. So the <laughs> southern torrid meteor shower, as you mentioned, Sherrod, it does happen tonight. What makes it neat is it's not necessarily a lot of them. It's five to ten meters per hour, but they're green, they're gold, they're orange hues. The problem is it happens tonight when the light is going to be brightest from the moon. So let me direct your attention a little bit later in the uh, November, a couple of months, a couple of weeks, 15, 10 to 15 meters per hour. That's a nice peak for the leading meteor shower. These are traveling at 43 and a half miles per second, so they're going to burn faster and they're going to be harder to see. You got to really pay attention. And one of the ways you pay attention is when it peaks on the 16th and 17th, you go outside where it's dark, away from the city light. You let your eyes adjust for 15 to almost 30 minutes, and then you find somewhere comfortable to lie down or to sit, and then you look up and watch. The celestial show. It's going to be pretty cool, Sharon. Ooh, that does sound cool. Thank you, Mike. All